Well, welcome to week six of the TK Breakdown. We are going to be discussing uh, the week seven picks and uh, last week's picks. But first of all, let's go over the uh, the overall standings. Uh, overall, I'm in the lead with uh, 59 wins and 32 losses. In second place is uh, Randy Crone with 58 wins and 33 losses. Contested. Yeah, contested. There's an asterisk there. I'm sure we'll hear about that by the end of the year. Uh, in third place is Bob Crone, Grant Crone, flip a coin Bob, with 54 wins and 37 losses. In fourth place is my dad. He moved up to that this week. He has 52 wins and 39 losses. And in dead last, as usual, is Josh Suarez with 49 wins. We don't need to talk about his losses. Ah, now that that's over, I think we should uh, move on to the biggest loser of the week, which I know I know who the biggest loser is this week. Me too. Anybody who picked who didn't pick the Green Bay Packers. No. Yeah, because no. I mean, how can you call yourself a fan and not pick the Green Bay Packers, and then they win so thoroughly? <laughs> You well, all I got to say about that is I didn't take into consideration that McCarthy called Joe Philbin and got his playbook back. I mean, that's all that could possibly be the explanation. <laughs> and yet you turnaround. still disagree. I don't understand how you call yourself a fan. <laughs> You're so down on them all the time. Uh-huh. Hey, yeah, there's still hope. Uh, okay, well, that's not my biggest loser. Okay, who's your biggest loser? My biggest loser is Eric Decker. Eric Decker. I don't know mm-hmm. who that is. Oh, well, how conveniently you forgot about the game last night. You have anything you want to say to me, by the way? Uh, mm-hmm. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Why would I say anything to you? I mean, That's I'm right. in the lead. You have no <laughs> no reason to gloat. Oh, man, Technically, oh, my head still hurts. I got so much air on that celebration. <laughs> <laughs> you almost threw your back out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well. <laughs> Eric Decker's still the biggest loser because how could anybody be more open on a touchdown throw in the first half? The, the doggone Broncos are down 24 zip, I think. Peyton Manning throws a beautiful pass over the middle to Eric Decker to catch it, and he's there's nobody in front of him. There's nothing but goal line. Okay? He's running, nobody's even close to him, and what happens? He trips on his own shoelace. He trips over his own damn shoelace. I mean, that's got to be, he's he, he definitely gets Biggest Loser this week. I mean, there's, mm. North yeah. Turner could qualify for Biggest Loser. Well, that's the first, I warned you guys here yeah, yeah. on the breakdown, whatever Norv said to his team at halftime, he definitely coached them down. So This is the fourth time in NFL history that a team has come back from a 24-point de- deficit and one. But Peyton you have to give credit hitting. to Peyton Manning, yeah. Peyton was hitting on all cylinders. That defense was hitting on all cylinders. I mean, Champ Bailey. that was a great game. It, yeah. It was a great game. Ah, uh, well, now that we've gotten done with the biggest loser, we should uh, move on to next week's. But before we oh, move wait, on we, to next week. We need week. to talk about the best pick last week. Oh, the best pick? Oh, my gosh, yes. I would have to say the Green Bay Packers was the best pick. Best Not pick. even. Anybody who picked the Green Bay Packers was... Anybody who picked no, the Seattle the Green Bay Packers, Seahawks no, to the be Seahawks. The, the world champion contenders Whatever. every year, New England Patriots. How And Russell Wilson throws a perfect pass to win the game to we're a talking, wide we're, we're open... We're talking about the Green Bay Packers beating an undefeated team. We're talking They're about the Houston nobody Texans, Seattle Seahawks Houston, beating... Tom Brady and the New England well, Patriots. Did you that, pick the Seattle? Did, did, did you, you pick Seattle? Did you, did you oh, actually look? No, did you, you pick didn't. Green Bay? Did you pick Green Bay? Well, that and who's, a- who's wearing the shirt? <laughs> <laughs> and the hat? All I can say is those viewers who listened to me last week and chose Seattle and chose the Giants because, here again, we see Jim Harbaugh coaching his team down for another loss, uh, <sighs> who picked Denver, 
over San Diego. I still, Diego, I still say Green Bay was because Green Bay was, the, they Green would Bay have was come second out underdog top, loser. They would have come out. Houston on top. was like seven point favorite oh, in that okay. game. Okay, all I the can New say, New England Seahawks game, New England was maybe two three point favorite. The all Giants I can say, San Francisco game, I could give you that. But oh, the Giants were great. The Giants were great. That's obvious. Peyton and called San Eli Francisco at was a clear favorite. And Eli told him, dude, you got this. And Peyton came out and got her done. Yeah. Well, Houston Houston losing Brian Cushing was obviously more impactful on the you know, Houston defense than I thought it would be. And I, you the, know, the Packers losing Raji uh, was not as impactful as I thought it would be. Casey Hayward had a freaking fantastic game. A rookie, okay? He had a great game. Defensively, they played great. Finally, James Jones and Jordy Nelson get it together. And Aaron puts together a good game. You know, they still didn't have a it, decent still run no game, which I predict. There's no defense for not picking him. You're just well, trying to cover your tracks here. All right. uh, you know, but, we, we could but, go with Cleveland as the pick of the week. Because Cleveland was what? Zero and five. And then they went on to beat. Cleveland was a good pick, but not as good as Seattle. Because there are two could, nowhere teams. Yeah, but Seattle is a decent team. It's not It's not unthinkable but the, to we're think talking about Seattle is going to beat the Patriots. We're talking about, okay. At home. All I can say is whoever was in charge of the electronic media at Seattle is genius because somehow he managed to keep the tapes out of Belichick's hands and that's how they won. Whatever. (laughs) Let's pick a caller. Okay, let's move on to a caller. And we both like this caller because he's uh, complimenting us. Let's, uh, Let's listen. Well, he's... It's official. One of you guys has bought a crystal ball to see into the future of the games. Because if Cincinnati loses to Cleveland, I swear to God, I'm going to come to one of your houses, find that crystal ball, and break it. So that the rest of us can have a fair chance of winning some of these games. Either that or it's another conspiracy by the KKK to screw me over. That's that point. Once again, the caller is wrong. That's why he's in dead, dead last. Because, <laughs> I mean, he said one of us has a crystal ball. It's obvious. Both of us. Yeah. Both of well, us have crystal balls. Only one of us has had six straight weeks of uh, our upset special but being correct. But only one of us won last week. Only one of us. <laughs> yeah. Well, the other well, one has won three weeks. Did you have something weeks. to say to me? Like, no, I have nothing to say to you. Maybe, Why would I? Maybe congratulations. <laughs> Whatever. No. There's still ten more I ten took more you weeks. to the bank last ten night. Ten more weeks. Peyton uh, Technically, up. you didn't take me to the bank. Oh. You won by one game. That's not the bank. Let's talk about a couple weeks ago where I beat you by like four games. Mm. What up now? What do I want? Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, next week's games. <laughs> next week's games. Yes. Go ahead. Take your pick. Uh, well, you know there are a lot of good games next week. In fact, there are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six division games next week. Uh, Seahawks, 49ers, Saints, Bucks, Redskins, Giants, Jets, Patriots, and the Detroit Lions and Chicago Bears on Monday night. So, next week, oh, you know what? I miss Pittsburgh and the Bengals. They're playing. That's a division yeah. game next week. That I think next week's going to be a good week of football. Yeah, it's going to be a good week. But uh, you want to talk about pick of the what upset special is going to be? You go first. I've been going first for quite a while. Well, once again, my upset special is going to be San Francisco uh, Seahawks, and I'm taking the Seahawks. That was a huge emotional win for the Seahawks, and that was a total <laughs> domination of the 49ers by the Giants. They right. are going to be in bad shape. And, and once again, I, you know, I say Marshawn Lynch and, that, Lynch and that defense for Seattle. Marshawn Lynch is a beast. In no way Frank Gore or any other running back that Seattle, or San Francisco wants to put up against that defense is going to do well. So that puts the game on Alex Smith's Marshall back. Lynch doesn't play on and defense. Alex Smith showed his true colors against the Giants by throwing all those turnovers. He's obviously being coached by Harbaugh. And uh, that's good the way it's going to unfold. This is going to This is Seattle going to, goes into this is the going to be your weakness and this year. Them. Harbaugh, the 49ers, is going to be Don't forget Belichick. You will forget never North. pick the 49ers. Don't forget North. Well, no. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's hard. I'm not going to make a pick on that game because that's going to be. A, I think the 49ers are going to come 
because it's pretty embarrassing to lose as bad as they did. And Harbaugh is going to... I've seen how angry he gets. The spittle that comes out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. That's all he is. He's all emotion. And they're playing He's in San heart. Francisco. No hit. I don't... Yeah. San Francisco's... Despite... The Giants showed up last... The Giants are... Win some, lose some. But... Yeah, so pick up the pace here. My everybody. pick of the week... Hey, we have five more minutes, technically. All right. Oh, man. I don't... It's such a tough week. Yeah. So yours is the Seahawks 49ers. Thursday night's game. Seahawks over the 49ers. I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one, but I'm not making an official pick yet since I haven't actually okay. nice sight. done nice my sight. research. I smell some waffling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. There's so many good games this week. I will have to say... Man, I don't want to do that either. I was thinking about maybe the Washington Redskins over the Giants. I thought that would be a, it's going to be a good game. It always typically is. RG3 is playing well. Not as well and as And it's Eli. a division game. Not the as other, well as Eli. The, the thing is, the Giants are so off and on. You know, they're really good one week and then they're really bad another week. And it's hard to predict when they're going to be really bad. Uh, there's the Jets Patriots. The Jets... Put a stomping on whoever they played last week Thursday. Who did they play? And we do know that the original allegations about uh, Belichick's scandal with the films originated with the Jets. So we was, know the Jets know how to protect That was so long them. ago. I can't believe you continue well, to bring I'm this saying, up. All I'm saying is you, there's, there's a, a reason the man's been so successful. <laughs> <laughs> you know every coach in the league did that. Belichick just got and caught. Belichick got caught. Right, because he, what's his face from the... Cleveland Browns head coach Mangini. called him out. Mangini. Mangini. There we go. Oh, man. Bad. The Steelers are coming off a bye this week. And, I mean... No, the Steelers aren't coming off a bye. The Steelers uh, yeah, lost miserably... the Steelers miserably. are coming off a bye this, this week. No, they lost miserably to... Uh, gosh, who did they lose to? Oh, no, Cincinnati's coming off of a bye. Yeah. No, Cincinnati no. played. Pittsburgh... Oh, yeah, you're right. Man, I'm totally wrong on that. Nobody's coming off a bye. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, you're going down. Man. That's all I got to say. Yeah. So no predictions from you, obviously. Yeah, no. I, lost this I have no idea. Too much, or? I, you know, I'm going to pick the Detroit Lions over the Chicago Bears. I think... That was my second pick. Schwartz had... The, the Detroit Lions had quite a bit of energy in that game against... Uh, Stafford's playing well. He's throwing 300 yards. Arizona. Megatron's playing well. They're starting to develop a running game. The defense is coming online. So Cutler's going to have his hands full. Uh, That's it. You know, that NFC North is a tough division. I think it's the toughest division in the whole league. And the, the Detroit Lions are in dead last, but they are a good team. Like you said, Matthew Stafford and Megatron is a dynamic duo. And then that front defensive line that they have, no doubt it can sue and... Very good. Very good defensive front. So, yeah, I'm going to pick the Detroit Lions over the Chicago Bears for my upset special. And that is clearly an upset because I think the Bears are like seven-point favorites. Right, right. And I always pick the obvious ones. Like everybody picks Seattle over New England. Yeah. No, I'm not saying you pick yeah. the obvious ones. I'm uh -huh. saying you're not picking, like, clear upsets. Seattle over San Francisco? I think you should check so, the odds. Cleveland the over heavily, Cincinnati. Heavily Cleveland over Cincinnati. I picked Those are two Cleveland. nobody teams. Zero five. Two nobody Cincinnati's teams. Cincinnati's not a nobody team this year. In fact, I think they're in second place in their division right now. In a division that's horrible. That's got the Pittsburgh Steelers. That, that, who are losing. Yeah. I don't know. They went to the Super Bowl the same year the Green Bay Packers went to the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think that's uh, that's everything. Oh, we forgot the congratulations to this week's winner. I'm not going to congratulate this uh, week's winner. I would like to congratulate I will congratulate you Fantastic upon job, getting a one upon Holy overtaking crap. Uncle Randy. Some of those picks. And I mean, you had to come out of the basement, TK1, uh, on some of those games. They were behind. <laughs> Don't Seattle strain yourself. Rallies. Don't strain yourself. Denver rallies. Ugh. 
Well, nobody else will pat Don't me throw your back out. Nobody else will pat me on the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're not going to get any calls. Just, just a little bit for the uh, viewers out there. TK2 had to leave early last night because he couldn't stand the idea. That's because I thought it was, was over. Win the game. I thought it was you over. 24 0. Yeah, I told you. Mm. This is Peyton Manning. It's North Turner. And North Turner, correct. Right. All right. TK2. TK1. Out. Two. I already said TK. Out. Call. Bye.